welcome back guys afmf is amd's driver level implementation of frame generation that improves the game's performance by adding interpolated frames we can enable it from internal and software it has just received a major update in the form of version 2 which reduces its latency improves frame rate consistency and performance in this video i'll be testing afmf2 on my rog ally i have the z1 extreme variant of this device it comes with radian 780m gpu afmf2 works on Radeon RX 6000 and 7000 series discrete GPUs both mobile and desktop variants. Radeon 700M and 800M integrated GPUs are also supported. In order to use AFMF2 on your PC with a compatible Radeon GPU, you just need to download AMD's latest technical preview GPU driver. You can download it from AMD's website, I'll give its link in the description. As AFMF is a driver level implementation, it's not required for the game developers to implement AFMF in their games. We can enable it from adrenaline software. These are its highlights. Low latency and higher performance are achieved through new modes. We'll be covering these modes in the later part of the video. Fast motion optimization, very important. It improves the frame generation consistency during fast motion. The biggest drawback of AFMF version 1 was that it used to get disabled whenever we move the camera around quickly leading to a very inconsistent gameplay experience. For example, FPS suddenly dropping from 60 to 30. We can now use AFMF with games running in borderless full screen display mode. Expanded API support for OpenGL and Vulkan APIs. AFMF version 1 used to support DirectX 11 and 12 APIs only. AFMF 2 supports all 4 APIs. We can use AFMF 2 in conjunction with Radeon Chill. It can be accessed from Adrenaline software. If a game's FPS with AFMF enabled is higher than your display's maximum refresh rate, AMD recommends enabling Radeon Chill to set an FPS cap at a value which is half of your display's maximum refresh rate. For example, Allies display supports up to 120Hz refresh rate. So I'll just set an FPS cap of 59, one FPS lower than 60 to accommodate the FPS fluctuations. In such a scenario, AMD also recommends disabling Radeon Anti-Lag. If the game's FPS with AFMF enabled is not going to exceed your display's maximum refresh rate, then just enable Radeon Anti-Lag, don't need to use Radeon Chill. There are a few more things that you need to know about AFMF2. How to enable Supported GPUs that I've already covered, you need to run the games in either exclusive or borderless full screen mode with VSync disabled. A VRR enabled display is recommended, Ally supports it. Use Radiant Chill to apply an FPS cap. If the game's FPS exceeds your display's maximum refresh rate, it will help in reducing tearing. Only Adrenaline overlay can display the true FPS count with AFMF enabled. Don't use third-party overlays like Armory Grade and MSI Afterburner. AFMF2 boosts FPS outside the game's engine. It does not rely on game data like motion vectors. Next section, how to optimize. AFMF2 adds some new settings. By default, it uses the auto settings which select the optimal preset according to a hardware. We can change these settings. First, we have search mode. Two presets are available for it, high and standard. This setting improves frame consistency during fast motion. High preset is recommended for games running at a resolution of 2K and above. For resolutions lower than 2K, just use the standard preset. This is the preset that I'll be using on ROG Ally. This setting reduces the jittering or stuttering encountered with AFMF1 at higher resolutions. A new performance mode setting has been introduced. It reduces frame generation overhead. For integrated GPUs, this mode is set to performance by default. However, we can switch to the other preset that is quality for better frame generation quality during fast motion. The quality preset is the default when using discrete GPUs. The performance mode can be used to hit even higher frame rates when GPU bound to maximize the FPS uplift. In order to download the GPU driver, just scroll down a bit until you find this section. Package can be downloaded from the following link. Just click on this blue link. Eternal in software. Current version of the driver 24.20.01.02 released on 15 July 2024. Okay, just click on the settings cog here. Click on preferences. I'll show you how to set up Eternal in. In game overlay enabled. Now just click on performance. Click on overlay, enable this toggle, enable matrix overlay, disable game detection for metric overlay, tracking, FPS enable, expand this section. From here I have enable frame rate and frame time, graphics API enable, latency enable, 
फ्रेम जनरेशन लैग जी पी यू इनेबल फ्रॉम है आई हैव इनेबल ऑल ऑफ द पैरामीटर्स एक्सेप्ट फॉर जी पी यू वोल्टेज जी पी यू मेमरी फ्राम है आई हैव इनेबल जी पी यू मेमरी यूटिलाइजेशन पैरामीटर ओनली सी पी यू यूटिलाइजेशन इनेबल सिस्टम मेमरी इनेबल फर्स्ट आई बी रनिंग जी टी फाइव क्लिक ऑन गेमिंग फाइंड द गेम आई ओपन जी टी फाइव इंटरनल प्रोफाइल देर इट इज आई हैड टू इंसर्ट माई मेमरी कार्ड फ्री सिंक इनेबल वी सिंक डिसेबल एंटी लैग सेटिंग डिसेबल बिकॉज दिस गेम सेट पी एस विद एफ एम एफ इनेबल इज गोइंग टू एक्सीड एल एस मैक्सिम रिफ्रेश रेट आई एव इनेबल रेडियन एंड बैग्यूपान रेडियन चिल सेटिंग आइडियल एफ पी एस एंड पीक एफ पी एस सेट टू फिफ्टी नाइन फ्रॉम दिस सेटिंग वी कैन इनेबल ए एफ एम एफ टू आई हैव डिसेबल्ड इट फॉर द टाइम बिंग सर्च मोड एंड जस्ट सेट इट टू स्टैंडर्ड विल बी रन द गेम एट नाइन हंड्रेड पी रेजोल्यूशन परफॉर्मेंस मोड सेट इट टू क्वालिटी इफ यू आर नॉट इम्प्रेस बाय ए एफ एम एफ परफॉर्मेंस यूजिंग द क्वालिटी पी सेट जस्ट चेंज द पी सेट टू परफॉर्मेंस डिसेबल ए एफ एम एफ फॉर द टाइम बिंग यू कैन एक्सेस एटर्नल एंस ओवर लिप एड प्रेसिंग इट्स हॉट की ऑल्ट एन आर माई लाइफ रनिंग ऑन बायस वर्जन थ्री थ्री नाइन आई हेट द यू एम ए बफर साइज टू सिक्स जी बी यूजिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव वॉट्स मैनुअल प्रोफाइल ऑन थ्री पावर वैल्यू सेट एट ट्वेंटी फाइव वॉट्स सी पी बूस्ट डिसेबल नाइन हंड्रेड पी रेजोल्यूशन कनेक्टेड माई गुलिकेट के के थ्री मैक्स गेम पैट टू एल एव एप लूट विथ मोड स्टार्ट द स्टोरी मोड गेम सेटिंग्स एंटी चिल इज वर्किंग डायरेक्ट एक्स इलेवन डिस्प्ले मोड सेट टू विंडोड पॉडल एस नाइन हंड्रेड पी रेजोल्यूशन एफ एक्स ए एनेबल वी सिंग डिसेबल पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी एंड वेराइटी सेट टू फिफ्टी परसेंट सेम थिंग फॉर डिस्टेंस स्केलिंग टेक्सर क्वालिटी सेट टू वेरी हाई रेस्ट ऑफ द सेटिंग सेट टू हाई रिफ्लेक्शन एम एस ए डिसेबल दैट्स इट इनेबल एटर्नल एंड सोवल बाई प्रेसिंग इट्स हॉट की कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एंड ओ कीज देर इट इज देर इज फ्रेंट लाइन यू कैन सी एफ पी एस इज कैप एट फिफ्टी नाइन रेडियन एंटी चिल इज वर्किंग चेक आउट द इनपुट रिस्पॉन्स आई हैव एंट इनेबल ए एफ एम एफ टू येट स्टेबल फिफ्टी नाइन एफ पी एस जी पी लोड अराउंड सेवेंटी परसेंट जस्ट इनेबल ए एफ एम एफ नाउ ओपन एटर्नल एंड सोवल ए प्रेस ऑल प्लस आ कीज इनेबल ए एफ एम एफ टू चेक इट स्टेटस यू शुड बी सींग दिस ग्रीन टेक रिज्यूम द गेम एफ पी एस इंक्रीज टू अराउंड वन हंड्रेड एटीन वाओ दिस इज अमेजिंग इट गॉट डबल एंड चेक आउट द फ्रेम जनरेशन लैग वैल्यू ट्वेल्व मिली सेकेंड्स ओनली दिस वैल्यू इज इवन लेस दैन हाफ ऑफ द फ्रेम जनरेशन लैग वैल्यू फॉर ए एफ एम एफ वर्जन वन ओके सो आई एम ऑब्सर्विंग सम माइनर ग्राफिकल आर्टिफैक्ट अराउंड फ्रेंकलिन हेड मैन आई मूव द कैमरा एंड कंप्लीट सर्कल्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ऑब्सर्व दिस ग्राफिकल आर्टिफैक्ट फ्रेम जनरेशन इज नॉट गेटिंग डिसेबल इवन ड्यूरिंग पास विजुअल मोशन इट्स प्ले द गेम ऑब्जर्व द एफ पी एस काउंटर ड्राइविंग अराउंड द सिटी इज डिमांडिंग ऑन द हार्ट पे गेटिंग अ वेरी स्टेबल परफॉर्मेंस barely any graphical artifacts interface is not flickering we are off to a good start okay so now i'll be testing the next game i'll be running doom using vulkan api this is the 2016 version of doom at the nine settings for the game pre-sync enable Basing disable, radiant chill setting enable, ideal FPS and peak FPS set to 59. Yeah, I have to disable for the time being. In-game settings, display mode set to borderless, 900p resolution. Basing and motion blur disable. API Vulkan, resolution scale 90%. Ultra settings, max stop. It's a fast-paced shooter. It'll be interesting to see how it runs on Ally using AFMF. You can see the graphics API here, Vulkan. 
Many emulators use OpenGL and Vulkan APS. It should be benefiting from AFMF2 as well. Okay, here FPS is capped at 59. Radiant chill is working. AFMF2 is not enabled yet. Input response. Stable 59 FPS. GP load is around 70%. Now I'll enable the FMF from internal in enable status active search mode set to standard performance mode set to quality frame generation lag value 12 milliseconds check out the input response the input delay is not an issue okay so when I move the camera in complete circles frame generation gets disabled it's fluid only for about a second or two see FPS drop down to 60 frame generation got completely disabled there when I move the camera at a normal speed the drop in frame generation value is not huge like 100 FPS dropping from 118 engage in combat let's see Not observing any sluggishness as the base FPS is on the higher side close to 59. For any frame generation technique, it's recommended to be used with the game running at at least 60 FPS. One hundred to one hundred and eighteen FPS for the most part. Now I'll be testing the next game. Now I'll run God of War. Internal in settings for the game, Vsync enable, Vsync disable, anti lag setting enable. This game's FPS even with AFMF enabled, won't exceed LS maximum refresh rate. Not using Radiant Chill. Frame generation status active, I'll just disable it for the time being. Display settings, mode set to borderless 900p resolution. Motion blur disable. FSR2 enable using its quality preset. Original graphics preset and straight away jump into combat. Oh my god, these creatures are after me. Running around here, FPS is within a range of 55 to 60. Mid 50s. Forty-seven to fifty-five FPS. Now I'll enable ASMF2. Setting enabled. Status active. Search mode standard. Performance mode. Quality. We loaded the same sequence. Okay, FPS increased to around 100. But when I move around quickly, FPS drops down to around 50. So even during fast visual motion frame generation can get disabled when using AFMF2 engage in combat now FPS is very variable observe the sluggishness there FPS suddenly dropping from 80 to 50 and that's why I loaded this sequence knew this would happen see inconsistent gameplay experience 46 fps and if i stand still fps increases to around 80 now i'll be testing the next game latency was not a problem ghost runner part 2 another fast paced game i'll run the directx 11 version of it internal in settings vsync enable vsync disable radiant chill setting enable ideal fps and peak fps set to 59 AFMF2 disable for the time being. In game settings, display mode set to full screen. Resolution 900p FSR2 enable using its quality preset. Graphics preset high, blur disabled. Text is looking very small. We think of the game has started. Here we are getting around 55 FPS. GP load is close to 90%. 
59 fps responsive controls not using AFMF I'll just enable it now open internet AFMF enabled status active search mode standard performance mode quality back to the game yeah, FPS increased to around 110 I can observe the added amount of smoothness the fluidity oh no when I move the camera around quickly frame generation gets disabled you can see FPS dropped down to around 70 dropped from 110 so it's an inconsistent experience again frame generation lag value 13 milliseconds input delay is not an issue not observing any graphical artifacts let's play the game so even with version 2 frame generation gets disabled during fast visual motion varies from game to game we'll be running Elden Ring Shadow of Earth 3 expansion this game's FPS is capped at 60 Internal in settings, free sync enabled, vsync disabled, anti lag setting enabled, AFMF2 disabled for the time being, display mode set to borderless window 720p resolution, most of the settings are set to medium, motion blur disabled, that's it. There's our character, I'm in the grey side plane area, here FPS is within a range of 50 to 55, big open area, I'll just summon torrent, my right. Now I'll enable AFMF. Game received a new update recently. AFMF on, status active, search mode standard, performance mode quality. Back to the game. Okay, FPS increased to around 100. But when I move the camera in complete circles, frame generation gets disabled. It's the same old thing. Not observing any graphical artifacts, input delay is not an issue. We are hitting the GP bottleneck, so I'll just switch to the performance mode. Performance mode set to performance. FPS is close to 100. Frame generation gets disabled during pass visual motion. I'll just head to castle Ansys. There's the great bridge. When moving the camera at a normal speed, FPS mostly stays around 100. Frame generation does not get disabled. That's good to see. HUD is not flickering. In this place is fortified. Soldiers will be attacking me. 90 FPS. Oh my god. Someone lost a bolt. And again. So 70 to 100 FPS. Kill some soldiers here. And I'll be testing the next game. Cyberpunk 2077 I am using the low preset FSR 2.1 upscaler enabled using its quality preset motion blur disabled display mode set to windowed borderless 900p resolution vsync off vsync enabled vsync disabled anti lag setting enabled AFMF2 disabled for the time being I am standing right outside V's apartment building here FPS is close to 50 haven't enabled frame generation yet input response I'll just enable AFMF on active search mode standard performance mode quality change it from performance there you go back to the game FPS increased to around 90 frame generation lag value 17 milliseconds 
yeah i can observe the added amount of smoothness but again frame generation gets disabled when i move the camera in complete circles yeah i can observe the jitter now standing still again fps increase sprinting 90 fps and just engage in combat not moving around much and yeah, now fps stays around 90 switch my camera let's go for a ride ATFPS during driving FPS dropped down to around 55 there did observe the sluggishness very variable FPS with the FMF enabled in cyberpunk running on rock ally now I'll be testing the next game the witcher 3 wild hunt at the in settings free sync enabled Facing disable, anti lag setting enable, AFMF disable for the time being, display mode set to borderless window 900p resolution. I'm using the medium preset, FSR2 upscaler enable using its quality preset, motion blur disable. That's it. There's Carol. I'm standing at the entrance of Novigrad. Yeah, here FPS is around 45. Check out the input response. I haven't enabled AFMF2 yet. Almost hitting the GP bottleneck. Just enable AFMF now. AFMF2 on. Search mode standard. Performance mode quality. Back to the game. Now we're getting around 80 FPS with frame generation on. Again, it's an inconsistent experience. You can see frame generation got disabled when I move the camera in complete circles not observing any graphical artifacts hitting the GPU bottleneck here frame generation doesn't get disabled when I move the camera at a normal speed like this see 80 FPS animation looks smooth it's just that during fast visual motion, frame generation falls apart. 43 FPS. Now I'll be testing the next game. Now I'll be running Wuthering Waves version 1.1, Epic Games version. Adrenaline settings, free sync enabled, free sync disabled, anti lag setting enabled, AFMF disabled for the time being. This game's FPS is capped at 60. In game settings, graphics quality set to medium, screen mode full screen, 720p resolution, frame rate 60, just set everything to medium, FSI enabled, capsule AO volumetric fog disabled, motion blur disabled as well, raw density medium, I am in the central plains area, this game suffers from shader cache compilation related stutters. Here FPS is close to 50, GP load 70%, hitch there, in gliding, I have used LSFG in this game, it produces some graphical artifacts when we are using the glider, but the fluidity gains are amazing, ok I will just enable AFMF now, enable, search mode set to standard, performance mode set to quality, back to the game, frame generation lag value 12 milliseconds, FPS increased to around 117, got doubled. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Unfortunately, even in this game, frame generation gets disabled when we move the camera in complete circles. Fast visual motion. Fluidity is there when I move the camera at a normal speed like this. 100 FPS. What's going on here? Engaging in combat. Don't want to fight against this big creature. Very powerful. Hitching. 
frame generation cannot fix this general performance is good you can see fps stays around 100 when my character is sprinting hitches are still present though eighty two hundred fps during combat now i'll be testing the next game alan wake part 2 epic games version internal in settings for the game pre-sync enable afmf disable for the time being anti-lag setting enable v-sync disable in game settings display mode set to borderless 900p resolution fsr2 upscaler using its quality preset motion blur film grain and lens distortion setting disable low to medium settings retracing off playing the game's expansion our character rules here FPS is around 30 it's running around 30 to 40 FPS can observe the choppiness in dodging the attacks yeah FPS mostly stays around 30 enable AFNF status active search mode standard performance mode performance it will the same sequence, FPS increased to around 60, I'll just sprint around. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Now I'll move the camera in complete circles and frame generation got disabled. Same old story. Sixty FPS. And I run in a straight line. And that's it. Time to conclude the video. AFMF version 2 reduces the frame generation lag by a considerable amount. This value is now even less than half of the value for AFMF version 1. The visual quality was good in all of the games. No significant graphical artifacts were produced. Performance gains were noticeable in all of the games. However, frame generation got disabled completely when I moved the camera in complete circles during a fast visual motion. This issue is still present in AFMF2, at least on ROG Ally. The results may differ on a PC with a more powerful GPU. Now this is the reason why I cannot recommend AFMF2 on Ally. The thing is, LSFG version 2.2 is a universal frame generator that works on any GPU including Ally's Radian 780M. It produces better fluidity in all of the games compared to AFMF2. However, AFMF produces less graphical artifacts than LSFG. Unlike AFMF, LSFG is not free. It's included with a paid application called Lossless Scaling that sells on Steam Store for around 7 US dollars. But good to see AMD not giving up on AFMF. Looking forward to seeing more such updates in the future. That's it with the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.